Hey there, bass heads. Alabama's a fisherman's paradise, and when it comes to lunkers, few states stack up. Today we're diving into the top five lakes for reeling in the legendary largemouth bass. Grab your rods, we're going fishing. This Tennessee River behemoth is a 69, 100-acre monster brimming with bass of all sizes. Guntersville holds the state record, a 13 pounds, 10 ounces brute, target shallow coves with cypress knees or troll crankbaits along rocky ledges. Straddling the Alabama-Tennessee border, Pickwick's 43,000 acres are a haven for both largemouth and smallmouth bass. Fish around the Pickwick Dam tailwaters for giants or cast jigs near weed beds for hungry bass. The lakes produced a 12 pounds, 13 ounces largemouth. Nicknamed Lake Eufaula, this 45, 181-acre gem is known for its healthy bass populations and diverse fish habitats. Buzz baits work wonders around lily pads, while spinner baits excel along rocky shorelines. The record here? A whopping 14 pounds, 1 ounce lunker, big fish of a lifetime. This 67,070-acre Tennessee River giant is a bass bonanza. Target the lake's countless creeks and coves for schooling fish or fish deep ledges with crankbaits for trophy, bass. This lake is so much to fish. Wheelers yielded a 12 pounds, 12 ounces largemouth. This five, 400 acre gem may be smaller, but its bass are mighty. Dense hydrilla beds hold hungry fish, while rocky points are prime ambush spots for big ones. Neely Henry's record, a respectable 11 pounds, 12 ounces largemouth. Check the Alabama Department of Conservation and Natural Resources website for fishing regulations, seasons, and lake updates. So there you have it, folks. Alabama's lakes are calling and the bass are hungry. Grab your gear, hit the water, and experience the thrill of battling a giant largemouth. Tight lines and happy fishing. Share your Alabama base fishing stories and tips in the comments below. Have the best year fishing ever. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.